Hello, it's me again, that one dude Chris, back again with Slay the Princess. I'm actually with this game a lot sooner than I thought I was going to be, but I, I love this game just too much to put it down for too long. And it seems like you guys do as well. Like, you, we, that first video, <laughs> I think we can all collectively agree that this game is probably like, probably an S tier. It's, it's got some choices. If you're unfamiliar with what happened in the last video, I either recommend going to watch that or sitting through me explaining what happened in the first video. And we all know how bad I am at explaining stuff. So here we go. Basically in the first video. So now that we have basically reset the whole timeline, I guess, we now have our original choices of being confused about the whole situation. So in the last video, at by the end, the narrator says that we're here to slay the princess. And if we don't, the world is going to end. So now we have, oh, what do I want to start with? What do I, what do I want to start with this time? What if I turn around and leave? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? <laughs> no, but uh, nope. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Uh-huh. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Voice of the hero he coming through. Annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. No, I think he very much does. You don't. I. So I actually had a thought, a theory about the narrator in the last video uh, that I didn't share. But I think that the narrator might know something that we don't. I mean, obviously, because he thinks that, you know, the princess is going to end the world. But I think that the narrator has some kind of ulterior motives and is kind of trying to guide us towards slaying the princess for his own benefit. I don't know. But that's just strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Ah. Uh, How convenient. Uh -huh. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved uh -huh. after all. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Turn around again and leave again. All right, well, obviously turning around again is only going to lead me back to the cabin, so. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? Yes. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Sure, buddy. Keep on telling me your lies. I don't care, I'm not killing a princess good. Maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone. <laughs> not, you're not emotionally blackmailing me into this. Quietly continue down the path. Your silence is deafening. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, Damn you it! That? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Yeah, 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 okay. There's no fighting this, is there? Uh, I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. The music just stopped. That's here. Excuse me? And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. I'm so sorry that you feel this way. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? 
but of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Yo! You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. This game is a fucking S tier, bro. There's no way that by me continuously backtracking to avoid going to the cabin, caused another like path to be open i'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu wait hasn't this happened already uh is there an option to turn back if i can't run away from the cabin then i'm just staying here in the oh boy yeah okay you know what let's fuck it let's do the stubborn run let's let's see how stubborn we can well, that's be clever a little boring though it's extremely boring wait what was that the voice of who can we really do that can we really just do nothing? No, you can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Who was that the voice of? All right, so it's decided. Even if it's boring, we're going to do nothing forever. The voice of contrarian. <laughs> well, I'm the contrary. Congratulations. You continue to waste everyone's time and do nothing. Wait, can you still hear me? Who's getting... What is that weird feeling? It's like I'm barely even here anymore. Well, it's not nothing, that's for sure. Does that mean we messed up? Definitely. I definitely fucked that up. Yeah! <laughs> the world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a texture no textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undul undul undulations pulse louder as not as something other something other comes closer. You already know what dwells in the empty spaces. Ah! Ah! Get off of me! Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around you. You are no longer alone. I love this day! Confusion. Why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance. Fingers draw claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to use to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There is only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our salvation. I am our only salvation. Oh, shit. Return to your destined path or face the consequences. You're on a path in the woods. You're here. Oh, my God. Oh, the option's gone. The option is gone. Yo. <laughs> The option? <sighs> Do I get some sort of reward for yes, this? but you'll have to slay her before you get it. All right, of course. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Uh, killing a princess seems kind of bad. Can't someone else do this? Can't someone else do this? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. Of course it is. So I am not going to take the blade because this time I don't anticipate on killing her. I'm just going to... I'm just going to enter the basement. I'm going to enter the basement without the blade. The door to the basement creaks up. Her voice softly Oops. carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Hi! Is... 
hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Just checking in on you. I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. Ah, huh? Ah! Hey, I think I'm here to slay you. Continue down the stairs. Oh, lie? Why is... Lie and lie. Well, lie. I'm, I'm here to how save you. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? He remembers. Oh, maybe? I think the narrator remembers, because that seems like a type, the type of dialogue that would be like, we've been through this before. Because he did let me know when we started this to begin with that, like, you know, the world would end. But this kind of wording makes it seem like the narrator remembers all this dialogue and like all the choices that we've been through so far. But we as the character, not as the player, but as the character, don't. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Hello, pretty lady. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Yeah, she is. Let me stop! Okay. Let me stop. All right. I'm here. I'm standing on business. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. How long is forever? I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. We might need them. Okay, I'm done. What is with me today? Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Uh-huh. I like I'm going to listen to you. I'll see what I can do. Hold on, let's talk. But for let's talk a bit first. I'll see what I can do. No need to talk. Let's just get you out of here. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. I think you are. No, you're doing the right thing. I know I am. Thanks, thanks, voice of hero. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. The power of determination in boners allows me to rip open the chains with brute force. There's my ending to the story. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Why would I? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Let's ask if she's got any ideas before we go rummaging around for a key. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Uh-huh. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. I'd rather avoid that option! Because, I mean, well, hold on now, hold on, because if we are intending to slay her, she might just bleed out. If we chop off an arm, she may bleed out. But again, I want to save her and see what happens. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. How's she staying fed, by the way? How is she, if she's been down here for forever, how she, how does she look so good? You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Oh, okay. Is someone else here? Try the door. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Someone, uh, let me your out! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. That's got to be the narrator's doing. You make that your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier 
if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Uh huh. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Who is they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. <gasps> As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. <gasps> it's the blade from upstairs. Ow! You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Oh! Or we could use it to free her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't like what happens if you do that. Yeah, okay. Say the princess. Oh, they don't even give me an option to slay her. I think we're so far convinced that we should save her that now it's like the only thing we want to do. <sighs> Fine. Against your better <laughs> judgment, <laughs> you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm. Just ah. above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Ah. You cut into her flesh. Ah. The blade is sharp. Ah. It takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. <laughs> she didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? It's not me, I swear. I swear it's not me. No! Warn her. Oh, 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 hell yeah. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Yeah. You, you know you don't have to do this. I know, I don't want to. The body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Oh, shit. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Uh, resist. The blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm getting so giddy about this, but you know how I get. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. I thought he was done talking. She plunges it into your chest tearing through flesh and sinew it is agony but you aren't dead yet oh no i'm so sorry it's okay you do what you had to do i love you stay strong we can tough it out until it's done for her sake for her sake don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. You only had to do it once, shoddy! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You only had to do it once! <laughs> God damn it! She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. Hey, at this point, I, I feel like we deserved it. I this, this is our punishment. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
Why do you keep stabbing me? With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? I very much feel like it can. It, it, there's nothing stopping it from ending just like this. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. The damsel. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Uh, but I died. What am I doing here? To show you that you're not dead, and to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. But I'm dead. Doesn't remember what happened. Then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Ah, voice of the smith. <laughs> Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. The four of us? There's me, the voice of the hero, the voice of the smitten, and is, is the fourth one supposed to be the princess, or... We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Oh lord. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Get this one out of my head. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very <clears throat> different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Uh-huh. You were the one who put <clears throat> us in, villain. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? I don't After sound like that. that. It sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? This is what I'm really trying to figure out. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. Uh, let's talk about this princess. I'm with them. I'm going to find a way to save her from the cabin. What if we just spent the entire time just talking out here instead of saving the princess? That's right. You can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <sighs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. 
I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How is it supposed to end the world? Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? These are both really good questions. Hoping that it lets me ask both of these questions. I'm going to ask this one first because that is the most important question. And then this one after. People locked her in that basement and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Because I turned on my computer, opened Steam, and decided to play this game. <laughs> Calling us special isn't going to make us friends, even if it did feel nice. Oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright, so she, she killed me because I let her. How's that gonna end the world? She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the world. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Let me stop. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. The whole world doesn't even know that I'm out here. I didn't even know I was out here. Oh, the option to turn around and leave is there. But I don't... Nah. Uh, nah. A warning. Before she will lie... She will cheat. Uh -huh. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. <laughs> I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Oh, this is it's different. Stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different than last time. This whole cabin is different. Very different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time around. You weren't here last time. Shut your mouth. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. 
Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Hey. Eh? We'll just take the blade just because. It's going to end up in the basement anyways. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an equally dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge, and hopefully it doesn't get turned on us. Again. There's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. Shut your mouth, you! The basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Yo, this is nice! But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I don't know about that one. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Hello! My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Quiet, you fool! You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Not that one either. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. She knows. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. Dashing? And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. Uh huh. Uh huh. Been here before. It's all laid out in front of you, asshat. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Speaking of hands, she she still got. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. Wait. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Pause. And you've died before, so an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first. What do you mean? Wh what does he mean by this? I'd really hoped I'd be the first. Hoped you'd be the first to damn an entire world to, to oblivion? Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? But we don't know that she- We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Mm. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? Do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. What happened after I died? Yeah, what happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end? Did you, did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Ah! Ah! Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. 
My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. No, I don't want the world to end. I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are plagued. No, I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. See? She didn't confess anything. She is innocence itself. I'm not so sure. Yeah, me either. Uh, I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Did we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna rescue her again? Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. Aha, I have a knife! Don't you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her out with ease. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. You're not supposed to know, bud. It's always yes and. He doesn't. Goofy Ad doesn't know how to roleplay. <laughs> if her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. Okay, this one's kind of annoying. I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward Great. and free our beloved from her bindings. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... Yes. Huh? Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try any... Wait, I think I missed something. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Voice of the hero, you'll what? Take over our body and force us, force us to try and kill her? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Now I watch villain, my passion can contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings, and doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Okay. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Are you sure you want to do this? Just one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade is buried in her back and everyone out there is saved. 
Is that a threat? You know what we'll do if you try it. You're going to regret this. I don't know if I will. What do we do now? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. I can think of about a few things that we could do now that you're free of your chains. I mean, I could think of a few things that we could do when you were with your chains. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Uh, somebody delete my YouTube channel for me. What do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we do next. What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, you know, leave it up to the woman. What, tell me what you want. You want money, you want freedom, you want something. Uh, okay, Let me I need to stop. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I... Don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Mm. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to tell- I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. Something isn't right here. I'm sorry. I want you to leave. I want- if you want to leave, then let's leave. Uh, let's just leave and then figure it out later. Where's that option? That sounds perfect. As the princess takes your hand in hers, you let your blade tumble uselessly to the floor, and with it tumbles the last hope for the entire world. <laughs> we have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it. Because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. <laughs> Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. Yo, what's, what's with the hopeful music? And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. Hey! That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Hey! Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm really not. I kind of just want to get her out of here and see what happens. I don't care anything about loving her. I'm just along for the ride at this point. You think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try together. I think I've got this. Open the door by yourself. All right, stand back, baby girl. All right. Stand back, you know, watch the, watch the muscle. Okay, yeah, you've got this. You place your hand on the door and the lock clicks <laughs> and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? I'm able to write my own history. I'm able to write my own endings. Ha, I knew it. Your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts bound together as one. You and the princess make your way upstairs. Her freedom and the world's ruin are just a few moments away. If you don't mind, I'm going to fix myself a drink before you ruin everything. If I'm about to see the end of the world, I'd rather not see it sober. <sighs> That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step outside. Your love will set you free! <laughs> Bro, what is... What? 
Guys, I think we fucked up. Guys, the music cues are telling me that we definitely fucked up. A happy ending at last. No, I, I genuinely think we might have fucked up. We did it. What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Yeah, shut your ass up! This is serious! Oh no. But you don't get the chance to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. But where does she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Of course, it, of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not in the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before, and you always get scared. Oh. So this one feels more like a deceptive answer. It's like, uh, this is like, you know, just trust me. We've, you know, it's fine for you. Everything's going to be okay. This one is more of like a straightforward answer. It's like, yeah, you may disappear, but I'm going to be fine. Oh. 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 But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. It's not the end. What's well, whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. It's the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. I mean, technically, yes. Technically, this one is the truth. Okay. If you say so. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown. Ah. Ah. <laughs> You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me wither? But your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Mm. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? What does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, what do you want to do? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? When I go back, it's in, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Jesus, so many questions. Okay. Uh. 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 I kind of want to try these two options here, but I kind of want to ask some questions first. Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? God damn! sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. Alright, smartass. 
The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am, and what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Okay. All right, that's a, that's a valid answer. I'll give you that one. Uh, so I don't necessarily want to say that I'm going to kill her when this is all over because we don't exactly like she doesn't even know who she's going to be or what she's going to be when all the pieces are put together. So, yeah, we've had to go back and forth and do some terrible things and have done some things that not everybody has agreed with. But I, I think this is just somebody trying to find themselves. This, it does say that this is a love story. At the beginning of this game, it always tells you that this is a love story. And so I think that this is... I'm probably looking way too deep into this situation when I say this. But, like, this is a metaphor for a relationship and trying to find yourself. Trying to find yourself and figure out, you know, who you are and who your partner is. And maybe this is the situation that's happening here. Is that we have already fallen in love but because we're so incomplete going through all these different paths of trying to figure out should i kill her should i save her we're piecing together who we are as people and what we want out of this relationship oh my god yo oh okay those paths lead to worlds you've already seen and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Um. Ooh, you have been kinder to anyone I've met. Thank you, and you've been kinder to anyone I've met. Why? Ah, same question, different answer, or different kind of like, interesting. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Interesting. What do you want me to bring you next? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective eliminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Mm. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Interesting. Okay, I really like the idea that this game is a metaphor for like finding finding yourself and your partner in a relationship. Because it's that 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 last phrase of this one, you molded this one to love you or whatever it was, and she has a kind heart or whatever, whatever she said. That was like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. The way that like each choice. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Interesting. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are a weave of emotion at odds with themselves, but they are only perspectives. They are not me. 
The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. And, if, and what if I don't want to bring you any more vessels? What if I just wait here forever? Then we will remain here as we are now. Barely finished. Damp. Cavernous. Mm -hmm. You have no need to wait. We'll wait! See what happens if we wait. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? Ah. Uh. If you close that box, Will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Wow. The game just closes. The game just closed. Uh. <laughs> this game is so good. I'm looking at my Steam achievements right now, and I have only unlocked seven out of 97 achievements for this game. There are so many things to do, and it's it's insane. Like it. I don't, I don't want to stop playing. I really don't, but I'm going to be at this forever. If I continue trying, like I, you have returned to me. Oh, hi. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Attempt to outweigh your destiny. Wow. So even though the game closed, it didn't actually close. It just. Yeah, 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 this game, this is probably my favorite game of the year. And this didn't even come out this year. This came out in 2023. This is not even like a, a 2024 game. This is, this came out last year. Wow. Uh, I kind of, I'm really curious as to what happens if I, I don't want to attack her because I'm really gonna, like personally, I'm gonna feel bad. Because we just went through this whole thing about how she's not complete and how we're not complete and but i'm curious to know what happens if i try to destroy my body you raise your will to end your life but as it buries into the space your body should be you fear nothing at you feel nothing at all one of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face there's nowhere for you to be but here interesting Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh. If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build upon. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. Okay. The task of finding my vessels is your burden to carry. Alright, I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Nice. Bring the damsel to her. Nice. You're on a path in the woods. Yeah, 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 okay. Ah! Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I'm going to leave it off here again. 
and all I can really say is wow, because I feel like every time I'm going to pick this game up and, and find a different ending or find, you know, different ways to play, I'm always going to be amazed at what happens. I'm always going to be amazed at the results. And I don't want to spend too long talking about how I feel about this game because you can visibly see how I feel. You can you can see that I'm picking up the pieces as I play and you can see how much I'm genuinely enjoying this experience. So I'm just going to end it here. If you want to see my most recent video, I have it linked somewhere around here. I'm not sure where, but you'll see it. And if you want to see the first video of Slay the Princess, I almost said Slay the Spider again. <laughs> I'll also have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out.